was still in Parliament while the House has postponed once again the debate on the motion moved by MP for Boko Central, Mahama Yariga, to request government to absorb the fees of students of public tertiary institutions for the 2020-2021 academic year. Or to, it's been postponed to Thursday. According to the Speaker, this is as a result of the ongoing funeral of the late President Jerry Don Rawlings. This will not be the first time the House has deferred the debate on the motion after the side raised the number of objections against the motion, all of which the Speaker overruled. I really got the sense from the leadership that because of the solemn nature of today, uh, we should not debate the motion. But I may crave the indulgence of the House to read my ruling so that you can take it along. Um, tomorrow is the funeral and uh, we'll be caught up at the Independence Square. This is also a very urgent matter. And uh, our, our students who are our children, our guardians, uh, uh, will not be happy with us continuously adjourning the motion. But uh, the situation to decide that we can continue with the motion. So I want to plead with them to bear with us because a lot of work has been done on it. But just to read my ruling so that on Thursday when we come back, we just go straight to debate and move the consequential resolution on the matter. Well, even before the Speaker made this determination, the mover of the motion, Mahama Yariga, indicated that postponing the debate will occasion more hardships for students and parents since the academic year was already running and wanted the debate to commence immediately. Uh, if it is your pleasure, I stand ready to move the motion. Um, Mr. Speaker, this motion has been uh, withheld for a couple of sittings. You ask that I engage my colleagues on the other side who had issues with the rendition of the motion. We did discuss and several amendments were made to the motion and the current rendition I presume reflects both my own commitment and the views expressed by colleagues on the other side of the aisle. And so I stand ready to move the motion. But I've just got a signal from leadership, Mr. Speaker, that in view of the funeral and other considerations, they want to propose that we take the motion on Thursday. But Mr. Speaker, you recall that this is an urgent motion. The students are struggling across the country to pay their fees. If we wait until Thursday, many more students will be adversely affected. And so I will urge that we proceed to, to consider the motions and take a decision, Mr. Speaker. We're either voting for it or voting against it. Meanwhile, the Speaker also read his ruling dismissing the objections that were raised against the motion and stating that the motion was properly moved and relevant. The reason to this motion is that this wording lacks clarity and does not reflect the true state of affairs. As public teacher institutions, it is claimed, do not pay admission fees. Several members from the majority also argued that such a motion does not impose any course of action on the president based on the wedding. Admission fees, as used in the context of the motion before this house, is a fee charged for admission to a public tertiary institution. It is a well-known fact that these institutions, in handing out letters of admission, request the admittee to pay an admission fee before he or she will be enrolled in 
and permitted full access to the school as a student. The wording on the face, on his face, cannot therefore be the basis for rendering him as incompetent. Other terms were used like user fees and others, but as I drew earlier on, the phrase was not just admission fee, but admission fees, which is a general term covering other fees that are charged students. Honorable members, the huge impact on the livelihoods of Ghanaians brought on by COVID-19 pandemic cannot be overemphasized. It is my ruling, therefore, that the substance of the motion is unassailable and shall be allowed to prevail in the interest of the parents, guardians, students, and the institutions concerned. Having been so determined, the motion as moved and seconded will not be dismissed. Majority Leader Oseche Mensabonso indicated that his side will be ready on Thursday to debate the motion, but they will also subject the Speaker's ruling to scrutiny. The House definitely will do what is required to be done as you have proposed on Thursday. We have agreed to uh, observe the solemnity of the occasion um, provided today by what we have done with the commencement of the funeral of our former president, Flight Lieutenant General John Rawlings. So, Mr. Speaker, we act accordingly on Thursday. And I believe that when we come to the debate, the guidance that we have offered to guide us may perhaps also have to come under some scrutiny. And we certainly scrutinize the guidance. We will be informed by the guidance, but if needs be, we shall scrutinize the guidance.